Hello friends. Today's tarot reading is the chakra spread. In this one, each card corresponds to a different chakra of the body in accordance with Eastern medicine, Eastern philosophy. Just as the various chakras correspond to the different energies within our body and our various desires, so will each card in this spread. So we're going to get right into it. We are once again using the Fantastical Creatures Tarot, and the sequence of cards corresponds to the sequence of the chakras, starting at the root and going up to the crown. So card number one corresponds to the root chakra and answers the question, where am I right now? Where am I grounded? Card number two is the sacral chakra and corresponds to the question, what is my strongest desire? Card number three corresponds to the solar chakra, also the, known as the solar plexus, and corresponds to what is my power. Card number four corresponds to the heart chakra and corresponds to the question, what does my heart advise? Card number five corresponds to the throat chakra and answers the question, what do I feel I need to say? Card number six corresponds to the third eye and answers the question, what are my spiritual gifts? Card number seven corresponds to the crown chakra and answers the question, what do I want to attain? This is different from the, from the sacral chakra because what you desire is typically something more based in your physical body. What you want to attain, particularly being corresponding to the crown chakra, has to do with your higher sense of purpose, your connection to the divine, to enlightenment. So we're gonna shuffle the cards and see how this demonstration goes. This would be, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna be looking at myself, not anyone else, and we're gonna see uh, what the cards decide to tell us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are not all in view. Okay, this is going to be moved off to the side. So card number one is Justice Reversed. This deck depicts Justice as the Fu Dogs, the Chinese protector beings who are placed on either side of the doors of temples. This deck recommends the interpretation of you're about to experience something unexpected, but you're going to be okay. You are protected from it. That seems fitting for, and in line with the other readings I've done this week, for where I am personally. Card number two, which corresponds to the sacral chakra, is the Seven of Pentacles which in this deck is represented by gargoyles. Mythologically speaking, and in folklore, gargoyles are protectors. They chase away evil. The more traditional meaning of the card is success through hard work, which is pretty accurate for how I'm living my life right now and what I'm actively working on. It's interesting that both cards thus far have been about protection, and I've had to do a lot in the last year to get myself into this more grounded, more protected space. Let's see if that continues with card number three. Card number three is the Eight of Pentacles. It corresponds to the solar plexus and the answers the question, what is my greatest strength? In this deck, the Eight of Pentacles is represented by Quasiquatl, the Feathered Serpent. It also corresponds to reaping the rewards of your hard work. So it's it's interesting seeing how both my desires and my power are being represented by cards about reaping what you sell. 
and Paru worked in. Card number four corresponds to the heart chakra, and it's what is the heart trying to tell you right now. In this deck, it is the, uh, the Knight of Cups is what was pulled, and it corresponds to, and it corresponds to Mamanon McLear, the god of the ocean from the Celtic Irish Uthadadanon, which is an interesting correspondence here. The fact that it's corresponding to the heart chakra and its cups. Cups is emotion. Specifically with this deck, they say that the Knight of Cups represents either a romantic interest or being deeply involved emotionally with someone to the point that you can't see them clearly. You're going to need to think about what that corresponds to. Because I think I know, but the obvious answer isn't always the right one. Card number five corresponds to the throat chakra. What needs to be said? And I pulled the two of pentacles, which in this case has the fae as the representation of the fantastical creature. The two of pentacles is about juggling priorities, particularly in finances. But in terms of what I need or want to say, I was juggling multiple jobs for a long time, and I wasn't compensated for several of them. And I don't, I don't believe, I don't feel like I was listened to at those moments. So apparently that's still lingering. Not that the right people to tell it to can make any difference about it at this point. So I'm going to need to figure out how to express those, those energies to get them out in a way so that they're no longer clogging up my energetic system. Card number six corresponds to the third eye and the question, what is my spiritual power? What are my spiritual gifts? It is being represented by the card of judgment, who on, in this deck is depicted as dragons. It's important to note that in the imagery they put both an eastern and a western dragon. They're not exclusively one kind or the other. As far as spiritual gifts go, in correspondence with dragons, much of mythology has them as, particularly in Eastern folklore, protectors, skilled in both combat and learning, in healing. And, well, if you go by my day-to-day -day life and what I do spiritually on a daily basis, yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. I regularly use my spiritual gifts on behalf of those around me. Card number seven corresponds to the crown chakra. What is the aspiration? What is the, what is hoped to be obtained? This time it's the Ten of Cups, which are represented by the muses. The muses of Greek folklore were those who provided inspiration for the arts. They also helped people through the process of grieving, of celebration, they were beings of, or they are beings, of great emotional resilience. The Ten of Cups also corresponds to a successful and happy home life. And yes, I agree, that is definitely an aspiration for me. So out of these, the only one that I'm a little conflicted about was number five, the, the Two of Pentacles. There you have it. The Chakra Spread. Just a reminder. I now have a Buy Me A Coffee page. There is a link in the description. If you have been enjoying what I'm doing and would like to leave me a tip, that's how you can do it. Until next time, welcome to light, my friends. Bye.